Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Deputy Speaker, and can I thank the Leader of the House for announcing the business for next week? And can I join her in warmly congratulating my fellow select committee chairs on their election yesterday? I think it was a great exercise in the democracy of this House, and we should be very, very proud of the way the select committee worked across this House. But we now need to get these select committees up and working. We need to get the membership of these committees elected. We've got one week to do it. Now, the Speaker of the House very generously offered his facility to ensure that if there was any issue with any of the parties, any perceived blockage, right. that the Deputy Speakers and the Speaker could help out and assist that. Did the Leader take advantage of that very generous opportunity, or if she did not, why didn't she do that? Yeah, yeah. We've also passed one full piece of legislation through all stages of Parliament. We've passed two pieces of second reading, and we still have got no standing committees in place. Will the Leader of the House now endeavour to get this fixed out before the zombies leave the building? <laughs> there has also not been any single debate about the perverse deal with the DUP, which has completely altered the usual funding allocations in the nations of the United Kingdom. Now, the Prime Minister may have shed a tear on election night, but, but they're marching all the way to the bank, rubbing their hands in glee. But they'll be back demanding another few hundred million pounds, like the calculated extortionist that knows when he has you in a vice like in those sensitive places. And hooray, the great repeal bill is out today, a bill to unite the country and an invitation to climb aboard the battered jalopy as it trundles <laughs> over the cliff edge. <laughs> Apparently, Labour are going to oppose it by defiantly agreeing with a Tory hard Brexit <laughs> that will take us out of the single market and end freedom of movement. What opposition has been offered by the Labour Party? In the meantime, we'll continue to look after the vital Scottish interests and fight for a place in the single market. Yeah. Yeah.